Some people have a problem with work-life balance. And maybe people don't have that problem right now because of COVID. I don't know. But I do know that a lot of people stress themselves out over work. I am a person who I love the career that I have. I have to admit and I have to be honest that I used to stress myself out over work. And I know why. The reason why is because I had scarcity mindset. I had scarcity mindset because of a lot of reasons, actually. But being an entrepreneur, they always tell you most businesses, 80 percent of businesses fail within the first five years. That creates scarcity mindset. My father told me, you know, son, this is a racist world you live in. So, you know, you're going to have to outwork people. I'm not my my father doesn't actually sound like Bill Clinton. Maybe Bill Clinton told me this in, in like a dream or something. You start your business and things don't go the way you thought they were going to go eight, nine years ago. Your business, you know, you have this dreamy idea of your business. You're like, oh, man, when I start my business, it's just boom, I'm going to be a millionaire day one. That's not how it happens. That's not, that's not how that happens. It doesn't happen day one for everybody like that. So I left my job. I was making seventy five thousand dollars a year at my job. And then I go to entrepreneurship. I think the first year I made like. 20,000. So again, that was a year of being under scarcity mindset. So what happens is I developed a scarcity mindset and the scarcity mindset pushed me into hustle. It pushed me, it pushed me into grind. It pushed me into work. It pushed me into create. It pushed me into go, go, go. Day off. Nah, I'm good. Don't need no day off. I don't get tired. Keep going. Keep going. Keep pushing. Keep hustling. So when you do that for years and years and years and years and years and you never take a vacation, I still have never taken a vacation since I started this career in 2012. It's 2020, eight years deep. I still haven't taken a vacation, but I'm going to get to it. So what happens is you work and you grind and you push and you create and then you start actually getting money coming in, right? Especially as an entrepreneur, you start getting money coming in. You're like, oh, damn, okay. Now you're making more money than you made at your career before, but the scarcity mindset is still there because you're like, wow, this can literally go away at any moment. I have to keep going. I have to keep creating. And you just get in this cycle of never appreciating the, the work that you've done, never um, reevaluating yourself to see if you could be more efficient. And then I broke up with that cycle. The beginning of, actually it took me a couple months. It was from August 28th last year, which is when I tore my groin. I tore my groin last year. It was a horrible thing for me to experience, which I've talked about on my podcast, Free Your Energy Podcast. So from about August to January, I was doing a lot of deep reflecting. And that's when I said, hey, in order for me to go to the next level, I, I need to expand my business. I need to work less. I need to make sure that I'm using my time on the tasks and things that are going to optimize my business on the things that make me the happiest. Because, you know, there's things that genuinely make me happy. Uh, and then there's things I don't want to do. So from there, I ended up hiring five people for my business. I used to run my whole business by myself. So after that, I hired five people. Then what I had to realize was that you know, we have personal goals. We have business goals. You got to separate the two. Then I realized in my personal goals, I had too many goals that were serving other people. Things that I wanted to do and achieve that was serving other people. Nothing wrong with that. But I need to serve myself, especially in my personal goals. Because in my business, my business serves other people. My business serves everyone. So I need personal goals that serve me. That make sure I'm rooted in self-care and self-love. So here's what happened. I talk about this in my course, Restore balance and purpose to your life. If this sounds like your jam, you're going to like this course. Get registered for the course. So here's what ended up happening. I had to develop new healthy boundaries with myself. So that way I could have a better relationship with my job, better relationship with my accounts, better relationship with my mind, better relationship with my creativity, better relationship with my fitness, and then better actual relationships with other people. So like I said, that process was from about September to January of last year. Now that I've been doing this stuff that I implemented for almost half a year now, dude, I'm 50 million times more happier because I finally put balance in my life. Like I literally have balance now. And my friends, I just, look, man, I know people are in situations where they gotta work and they gotta grind, two jobs, three jobs, 
part-time job, gig on the side, hustle, side hustle, Ubering, lifting, Airbnb. Like, I get it, man. I get it. You got to do what you got to do to pay the rent. You got to do what you got to do to feed your kids. You have to do what you have to do to take care of yourself. And if you're trying to get your business off the ground, you are going to work every day. You are going to bust your ass. You are going to make it priority. You are going to skip the party. I can't go to the party, man. I got to get this business off the ground. Like, I believe in this. I'm, I'm, I'm bleeding for it. I'm dying for it. I'm living for it. If that's you, I get it. I understand you. But my friend, what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to have no balance chasing your purpose. When you go for your purpose, you need balance. You gotta have balance. And I'm speaking as a person who didn't have balance for eight years. And I even, in my book, Lust for Life, I even said, man, fuck balance. I don't need balance. I can go all in. But that was, that was younger energy. That was younger energy. As you get older, you got to get smart. You got to get wise. You got to use your brain. You got to see what tools are available to you. You can't just always maneuver with young energy. You have to use your brain. You have to start get like they tell you, work hard. That's young energy. We have to work smart. We have to be efficient, organized, structured. You have to move with purpose. I'm speaking to you from my heart. This is this is a life that I've lived. I've, I'm not just talking to talk. I've lived this. And I'm telling you, when you put balance and purpose in your life, 50 million times is how much better you will feel. I have the same job, I have the same life, but I have balance and purpose now. My friend, I, I challenge you, I invite you to take this course that I created called Restore Balance and Purpose to Your Life. Click the link in my bio, get registered. Let's go, let's free our energy, let's go.